So you open up your DAW, pull up a vocal, go into effects, add a compressor, and oh my fucking god, what do all these knobs do? Here's a completely valid explanation of how they work. So imagine that this here is your audio signal. You're going to have peaks here, and you're going to have some quieter stuff here. But let's say you want this part right here to be just as loud as this part up here. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to use a compressor. So what a compressor does is it basically smushes your audio signal into a wall, which is the threshold. So if you want this part over here to be just as loud as this part up here, then you're going to want to use a threshold that is just about at the same volume as this point here. What the threshold does is this is the point where it starts compressing the audio signal. So everything that goes above this line right here and right here will be compressed. So if we pull up another line, actually, this line is going to be the amount of gain reduction the compressor applies to the audio signal. This is in no particular place. I'm just putting it here so we can have a visual representation. So as you can see at this point here and at this point here, the audio signal goes above the threshold. So this is when the gain reduction kicks in. And this is also where attack and release come into play. So the attack of a compressor is the amount of time the compressor takes to act on an audio signal breaching the threshold. So if we had a really fast attack, it would start right here and it would act basically opposite to the audio signal, basically squashing it into the floor. But if we had a slow attack and slow release, it would look more like that. Now we got to think about ratio. So the ratio of a compressor can be anything from one to one, which does nothing up to basically 20 to one if it's a compressor, or if you also have a limiter, then it can go all the way up to 100 to one. So for a vocal, especially in EDM, you're gonna want something anywhere between four to one to about 10 to one is gonna be the max that you're gonna wanna use on a EDM vocal. But if you have this ratio here, then the signal is going to be pretty effectively cut off whenever the compressor is acting. So if it's acting like that at a, let's say five to one ratio, the signal is going to do something like that. What a knee does is it is basically a knob that tells you how much the signal can go over the threshold. Here's a graph drawn very professionally by someone who knows what he's doing. This is going to be your compression amount. This black line here is your threshold. As you can see, past here, it starts compressing. Hold up. No. Wait, wait, no. This is what it should look like. Don't pay attention to that. But this here is your threshold. This black line there is where it's going to start compressing. So your audio signal is going to come in completely naturally up until this threshold point. And then after this threshold point is when it becomes compressed. So a hundred to one limiter slash compressor ratio would mean that nothing will pass this point in volume right here. But a knee will give it a little bit of headroom. So what a knee will do is it will let it go past a certain point just for a certain amount of decibels just to make it sound a bit more natural. This is pretty useful in like folk music. So if I had a knee radius of... 10 dB, which is not recommended. It basically means the compressor is not going to work. It's going to have a curve like that. So you're basically not going to have any compression at all if you have a knee radius that high. I usually keep my knee radius as low as possible. But yeah, this is basically what a compressor does. Let's, you know, let's look at an LMS and hear what it actually sounds like. So I've pulled up a little vocal here from an upcoming track that I'm working on. And as you can see, there are a lot of kind of differences in volume between the quietest part like here and the loudest part here. We're just gonna listen to it real quick. Santa never punishes the bad kids, but the animals will turn them to stone. So as you can see, the word stone is peaking a lot louder than this word is here. I don't, I can't remember what word it was. So the word kids is really only coming in at like negative 12 dB. So what we wanna do is we're gonna add a compressor and we're gonna turn the threshold to about minus 12 dB. That's minus 13, but whatever. We're gonna turn the gain down because we don't want any excessive amplification that could clip the system. And I'm gonna turn the ratio up to about 
8, 7.9, whatever. My knee's gonna go all the way down, my attack's gonna stay down, and my release I'm gonna bring down to about 200 milliseconds. So basically what this does is the audio is hitting the threshold whenever it goes above negative 12.9 dB, and then after that point, the compressor is bringing it down at this speed so that it becomes more equal with the rest of the signal. So this is it before compression. Santa never punishes the bad kids, but the animals will turn them to stone. And this is it after compression. Santa never punishes the bad kids, but the animals will turn them to stone. As you can see, it is compressing the word stone a lot. I'm actually going to turn down the threshold a little bit more just so we can get a little bit more out of the uh, out of the vocal here. After this, we're gonna put a look ahead limiter on it just because it has an input gain and a true ceiling function on it. So what this is, is it's amplifying the signal going into the limiter. So we were peaking at about like negative eight-ish. So I'm gonna do an eight decibel increase and then we're gonna set the true ceiling at negative two decibels. So what this look ahead limiter does is that it's basically an ultra high ratio compressor with a ratio of about 100 to one. So that means that at this limit, there is literally zero audio signal that is going to go above that limit. It is just gonna get squashed back down. So this should really kind of bring our vocal up in perceived volume and presence. Santa never punishes the bad kids, but the animals will turn them to stone. So as you can see, this little line here is where that ceiling is. It is not letting the signal go past it. So now we've got pretty much an even signal from start to finish. I mean, it doesn't sound that great because I haven't really worked on it, but um, this is basically what it should be like. So we're going to turn off the effects and see what it sounds like. Santa never punishes the bad kids, but the animals will turn them to stone. Now we're going to turn on the effects and see how it sounds now. Santa never punishes the bad kids, but the animals will turn them to stone. So as you can see, that's a lot clearer and a lot more present. And it sounds louder, so you know what? That's EDM for you. Make it louder. And, you know, that's pretty much it. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for watching.